Hey everybody, today I want to talk about cleaning up your fucking mess. So, we keep talking about Black Lives Matter and Islamic terrorism and political correctness and feminism and uh, what else, social justice warriors. Uh, see, here's the thing. The people that are doing this, they're doing it just to cause political discourse and division. The real problem is they're not going to clean up their own mess. They'll start the mess, they'll start the fires, but they're not going to put them out. Fortunately, that's left to the rest of us who actually do. So, when we're looking at these Black Lives Matter protests and, and, and all the racial division it's causing, and, you know, when we're looking at, at Islam and all the religious division that it's causing with not only the Christian world, the Jewish world, I mean, you know, the policies that these guys have put in place over the past 50 years are what's causing this divide and like I said they won't come back in and clean up what they've created you know look at the Watts riots of 68 look at look at anything like that they all they want to do is just cause havoc and you know once you understand that mentality and, and, and figure out well they're not gonna clean it up you know and, and for you Trump guys out there he'll clean it up but he'll do it like Obama would just on our side because remember it, as long as it's your guy that's doing it well, then it's okay. So if he writes an authoritarian executive order, well, it's our guy, we voted him in, and the only other choice is Hillary. That's not really a choice, is it? So what we need to start thinking about is actually getting back grounded again, getting down to earth, putting a foot on the ground and say, okay, what's really going on? Because it's, just, it's such a minority of people that are doing this, but if you listen to the news and, and you go along this narrative, especially on Facebook, the guy last night was... Trump, 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 if you you need to wake up and vote Trump, and everybody needs to vote Trump, and I'm like, really, why? Do I agree with anything he says? Do, do I like the fact that he has 3,500 lawsuits against him? Do I like the fact that he's filed for bankruptcy three times, but he's the guy who's gonna be pulling us out of the hole? I don't think so. That's, that's not how this system works. That's not how it's ever worked. And now we have a WWE sideshow and the felon running for office. They also complain about Ted Cruz, and I'm like, you know, he didn't disenfranchise or marginalize the people that voted for him. He stuck to his principles. When was the last time you saw that? A lot of them hate him. I don't really care. He's not my horse in a race. I don't have one anymore. I don't think I ever actually had one this, this election cycle, and I don't really want one. <laughs> there are so many more things we need to be complaining about, like the National Interstate Compacts. You know, if you get a parking ticket in, let's say, New York, Florida, on vacation, you don't pay it, they issue a bench warrant, that bench warrant follows you to your state, and your license is canceled in your state. What the federal government done is nullify state borders. That should be a top priority, not, you got to vote for this guy because he's my guy and he'll do what's right for America. Yeah! <laughs> Is that where we're at? You know, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i one of the most American guys you'll ever meet. I wrap everything and bake it and throw it on a smoker and barbecue. But, but, I also understand there comes a point when we need to become Americans that the founders wanted us to become. And, you know, I, I just, I have the best words. No one has words like I do because I have, they're just the best. And I'll tell you one thing, we're gonna win. We're gonna win so bad, you're gonna get sick of winning because we're just, we're just the greatest and we're gonna make America great again. And that's what we're gonna do. You believe that shit? Yeah, America's great in a lot of things. Highest concentration of prison population, per capita, per 100,000 people, violent crimes in, in many urban areas. Come on, we're first in a lot of things. You know, America's only great when it's people decide, well, maybe I should find out why we celebrate Independence Day and what country was we seceded from. People start saying China. Ch really? You think China has a hold on us from 200 years ago? No. Uh, and then, you know, a good battle buddy of mine sticking up for uh, Islam. And, and, you know, think what you want. I, I don't really care. You know, you can't tell me they're the moderate Muslim because they still believe that apostates should be killed. They still believe in stoning homosexuals. They still believe in stoning 
to death adulterers. They still believe in, in female genital mutilation. You know, sorry, that that those are your moderates. That that's the moderate crowd that you are coming to me and trying to get me to say, oh, it's not all of them. They're bad people in every religion. And and then you guys claim, or not you, my audience, but then the other side claims, oh, look at the Westboro Baptist Church. I'm like, that's like 12 members compared to 50 or, or, or 100 million Christians in the U.S. And then you've got how many millions of Christians or billions of Christians around the world? And you're talking about 12 people? Okay, let me learn you some knowledge. 35% of Muslims around the world are already radical. 35% out of 1.8 billion people. Okay, at a conservative estimate, we'll just say that's more than 300 million people that are radical. The middle are moderate, and the rest haven't really read the Quran. They're, they're, they claim Islam, but you know I'm pretty sure they haven't really read it because, well, when you read it and you understand it, and you understand the later passages. Are, are the earlier passages are abrogated by the later passages, then it all kind of makes sense. Anyways, point being, you still got 300 people who want to cut off your friggin' head, and you're sitting there trying to tell me that they're moderate? Come on, guys. Paris, 2.0. Crusades, 2.0. Just saying. See you guys next time.